Thank you for tuning in to Restoring Your Life, an outreach of Life Application Ministries in Mount Ockham, California. Hi, this is Linda Lang. I'm going to be taking us on a journey through teachings, insights, and practical application for healing and restoration. Now buckle your seatbelt, hang on, and enjoy the ride as we continue Restoring Your Life. All right, today we're going to do something a little differently, and I wanted to just have you go along with me because I'm going to create it as we go, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mask with a zipper in it. I am going to cut two tops. I'm going to cut two tops and one back, and they're both out of different materials. Now, the top can be anything really pretty cute, a cotton but the back, because it's a zipper, you want to use sheer or something lightweight, like a white cotton or something. But I use sheer, it's kind of a novelty, because then when you're talking, you can talk through it without even an issue, and it keeps you still protected, okay? But you don't open the zipper a lot, you know, you only do it like, okay, okay, I'm going to talk for a minute, okay, I'm not going to talk for a minute, you know. So it's most of a novelty. It's just kind of a unique little little gadget to have. Okay, so I am going to start cutting this out. I'm just going to lay it here in this fabric. And I'm cutting two of the same size because it's easier when I'm maneuvering it, okay? I'll show you why. So I'm just going to cut it out. And I found these beautiful scissors. Oh my gosh, they cut beautifully. I hate it when scissors cannot cut. And over here. All right. The reason why we cut two is because we have to put the two together for the zipper. That's the first thing we're going to do. And so what we do is we're going to iron both sides down, both edges down that's going to hit the zipper part. Okay, there's that. And now this is the interesting part. It's very easy to do though. You just put the zipper it's an open zipper because you want to see the teeth because that's the whole purpose of having the zipper is you want to see the teeth. Okay, let's see what zipper am I using. Oh, and I just got a, z a jean zipper at Walmart. And you can see the teeth. It's really fun. Um, I was using these Parka big giant teeth ones because I had them but you can't buy them anymore and I didn't realize they were $16 each when <laughs> I was cutting them up. <laughs> anyway, um, you want to make sure that the teeth go up and that the cloth is like this. Now when you sew, it's good to start the sewing then open the zipper up, sew, lift the pressure foot up and so you know put the zipper back down and then continue sewing otherwise you're going to be having these little curves around the zipper foot and everything uh, so you want to do it nice and straight now you'll notice that the zipper is almost as long as this like that you only want this much for the mouth okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the zipper or actually move the zipper down and I'm going to cut off the end okay so I'm going to do that right now. And take scissors that you do not care about because it cuts through the zipper. I kind of measure it a little bit like this. Oh, okay, I'll cut it right about here. Okay. So I only need to cut that like that. And then I'm going to sew these to both sides. Now I'm making this one for my girlfriend. She asked me for one today, so I'm going to make her one. Now, my sewing machine, I can move my needle over all the way to the right so I can have a nice 
connection to this right uh, side. I can still use my same zipper foot. I just so close to the edge of the zipper. Now I'm going to zip it down, hold it down, I'm going to zip it down a little bit and then start sewing. I do it from the very end of the very top of the material. Okay. And now I just put the needle in the fabric and I'll zipper the zipper back up. And then I continue sewing. Put this way. Make sure your fabrics are straight on the end here, okay, when you sew it together. And then it's going to go the other way, so I'm going to move my needle towards the left. Now, if you don't have that fancy dancy stuff, don't worry about it. Just use a zipper foot. <laughs> I don't change my feet, I just use what I got. And I'll put my needle in because I want to zipper my zipper down to start it going. Okay. And then I lift it up again and zipper it back up and continue sewing. You want to make sure you're catching your zipper. Okay. All right. So now we have this it's sewn together. pretty big isn't it now what you do is you take your pattern and you set it on top now here's here's what you want to do you don't want the zipper to be in the middle of your mask because then it the zipper goes down under your chin when you've got the mask on you want to give like about three inches to the top as opposed to you know four inches on the bottom so you want to position your zipper when you cut this out kind of a little higher you know, see how I've got it a little higher than the bottom? So I just do that. And then I cut. I'm not going to use those scissors. And then I cut this piece off. Now we're going to use these pieces that we've cut off. So they're not going to go to waste. Okay. See? You got a little bit of a, a little bit on top and some on the bottom. Now we're going to finish off the front of the mask. We're going to use these, this piece that is kind of the bigger piece. And you're going to want to cut it right in half. What a difference in the scissors. I goofed up on that. Never mind. I messed up. I'm just going to use another piece. Because what you have to do is you have to make sure that this piece can cover that zipper and go all the way to the end. And what I did was I cut it too narrow. Okay, let's do that. So I cut a piece, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Same size, because you want to have the same. You want to have the same look. You can actually make another color with this. You can actually put different colors on the sides because we're using contrast. So we can do that. Okay. I have two pieces now that are going to go on the sides. And you want to push the zipper down a little bit, okay, because you want to be able to sew up to the zipper, okay? And you want the zipper to be seen. That's the whole that's the whole thing is to have that zipper seen. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing with the iron. We're going to fold, we're going to iron this end down to make it nice edge to it. Okay, you can't see that very good. Okay, sew so this to the end. Iron that on there. The same thing with this one. Now again, this is for advanced people who know how to sew already. You know what I'm talking about with some of these things I'm doing. Okay, now we take this piece and pin it. Pin it right there. Pin. Should have all my supplies in one spot, but they're all over the place. That's all right. 
you pin it over the end. You don't pin it to the end, you pin it over because you need to make sure that it gets tucked in. So make sure that you pin it you pin it over over the end of that zipper a little bit. You don't even have to cut the zipper off yet. You can cut the zipper off later if you want, but I, I do it right away because I kind of know what I want. I've done several of these. All right. And you really want to pin this pin it around the zipper the mostly because that's kind of where you want to make sure it is. And then down the sides so that it doesn't buckle. And if you pin the pin sideways, of course, you can sew right over them. You don't have to, move the zip, you don't have to remove the pins out. And do the same thing on this side. It's a little different on this side because you've got the head of the zipper there. But you still want to pin it close. Very, very close to this the head of the zipper without going over too much, okay? Because you don't want to leave a hole in there like that. You want to have it up as far as you can go on that zipper head. And let's pin around that. Now make sure the tops of these extend to the end See, extend to the end of the back. At least it goes to the end on each side. This is really close on this one. So the back has to be fit in two. So you got the front, looks good. Okay. Don't worry about it pleating up a little bit like, you know, like this a little bit. Just kind of lay it flat pin it down, get it in there, because the zipper kind of opens up the material a little bit. All right, now we're going to sew straight down. But what you're not going to do is you're not going to sew on the zipper. What you do is you can sew to it, backspace, jump over, and backspace, backspace, I'm, I'm thinking computer. And then you go back track on it a little bit, reverse, and then go down. Some machines you can go with your hand and go through the zipper, but you got to feel for it because you can break your needle, right? So you can just skip right over it as close as you can to the teeth and keep going, and that's what I'm going to do. But you just sew it down, and I'm going to put my needle right in the middle again. Okay. And back up a little bit and go forward. I like to remove my needles as I go, and then all the way to the zipper, back it up, and then I'm going to go right over it. I do not want to break my needle. Okay, keep going. As long as you sew really closely on each side of the teeth, you'll be fine. And you only need to sew to the end of the mask itself, not the sides. So I'm stopping there. No one on the other side. Now this I'm going to push down a little bit. I'm going to hold this and pull it down so I can get around that. See how I did that? So all the way to the zipper teeth. Back up. Over the teeth, make sure it's not moved much because you want to make sure your zipper closes at the top. Whoa, see my needle went right through that. Well, at least it didn't break. <laughs> okay. But I'm probably going to have to change my needle now because it might have messed it up. Okay. All right. I'm going to take my pattern again. Make sure that I've got it squared to the top because that's how I did it. And then you simply cut out your pattern again, right on, on that piece of, uh, on your paper, uh, on your material.
Make sure though that when you're cutting, your zipper is straight. Okay. Nobody wants a crooked zipper on your face. And you can also use your rotary cutter if you have one with the, the rotary table. I just thought it'd be easier to do it this way for right now. So I've got a couple of little edges to clean up here. And cut through all thicknesses. Okay. You are finished with the front of your mask. Okay, so now we take a piece of the sheer material, lay my mask on it, and cut out the pattern for the back. You can use that paper pattern if you want, but I like to use the actual product. Okay, make sure that it's kind of flimsy, so you want to make sure everything is kind of straight on this piece. And you can even cut it just a little bit larger than your pattern, because we're going to cut off any excess anyway. Alright, so now it's a perfect little square. Pin this down. Now you don't have to put a, a, a hole to turn it inside out when you're done sewing because you've got the zipper. So you use that as your turning point, which is nice. Alright, so you're going to pin it down. But what we need to do is get our elastic. Let's see. Now, I have a roll of elastic I use, and I also found some headbands. See, I found these headbands. They're at the dollar store. Of course, now they're not a dollar for 12 anymore. They're like eight bucks for six. Ridiculous when the whole mask thing came into effect. So you can use a headband, or I went ahead and bought me a roll of elastic. So I'm going to use this. And it's seven inches each side. So you want to cut out two seven inch pieces of elastic. Fold it in half and cut it. And again, this is when, if you are a person that's making it, you kind of want to pin it a little bit and then kind of put it around your ear and you can kind of see if that's the right size. But it's about seven inches, I find. And now we're going to put the elastic in here. So we're going to do it as we sew. But you can actually pin it in and I will show you how to pin it in. Just make sure you put the elastic to where it sticks out just a little bit. Not up here. You want to go this way with your elastic. I started out that way myself. I did it wrong and the, it was okay, but uh, it wasn't perfect. So then I pin my elastic there and I come up here. Don't pin it up here because it's going to be shorter than your material and it's going to pull it. Then you sew it up here. So let me show you. I'm going to do both of them here on the sewing machine. Now let's sew. Oh, not much nicer needle. Okay. So all the way down. Make sure you don't sew over your elastic because you want to sew that sideways. Hold on. You probably can't see, but at least you're getting an idea. Back it up. And you want to go this way and leave about 5 eighths of an inch on the right there. Move this needle out of the way. And make sure your elastic is tucked in so you don't sew over it twice. Make sure your elastic goes all the way to the top of that seam when you sew down. You sew down. Don't, don't sew the other part of the elastic yet. You want to go all the way down. But you want to find that little guy because you want to pull it down and through. Like that. 
and you want to give yourself up to 5 8 inch of a uh, seam allowance for the bottom of it when you sew across. So you're sewing a square, but you're putting the elastic on the short sides of each side. And you want to make sure when you sew your elastic that you're sewing it closest to the seam as possible. Okay, now go ahead and sit down. about five eighths and go this way. Get your second piece of elastic and tuck it in and do the same thing down to the end. And when you do your elastic make sure you've got it flat on both sides. You're not twisting the elastic around. And you want to sew back and forth a bunch of times over each end of the elastic because you don't want it to be pulled out front and back, sewn together, and now I'm just going to trim off this excess. Good scissors, good scissors. Look at that. Easy, easy peasy with the good scissors. Okay. Very nice. Look at that. Okay, so what you can do is you can very carefully cut the diagonals on the corners. Don't go, t please do not cut your seam. <laughs> as close as you, don't get real, real close. You can get close, but don't get too close. Cut off all your little threads so that nothing gets stuck in the zipper. Especially the part around the zipper when you sewed a loop over the end of the zipper. Make sure that's cut. Because I have my zipper open, I can use it. And if it's not open, you can just grab it from this side and zipper it open and turn it. You can use your elastic to pull each corner out. Don't pull too hard. That's a good pull test though. Make sure it works. Pull, pull, pull. Okay. How about that? Now you want to just flatten it out. Make sure it's all nice and flat. Shut your zipper and iron it down. Don't iron your elastic <laughs> if you can help it. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Now look at the back. It's the shear. So when you talk and open it up, you can be heard. One of the things that I find is you can't be heard through the mask. So that's why I did the zippers. Now we are ready to finish it up. We just do one, two steps. We put the nose guard in and then we put the pleats in it. So I am going to use my fancy dancy nose stuff. You can use a pipe cleaner, you can use twisty ties, but I found this in the garage. I don't even know what it is, but it's wire. Thin wire is exactly what they use in those face masks at the hospitals. So I'm going to cut about a two inch with my funky scissors because there's wire in it. Make sure. And then I'm going to open the zipper. And I'm going to put it up at the top. And within the seam, all the way as far as I can go with the seam. And then we're just going to sew a casing just along here just to tuck it in. I'll be right back. Crossed. I just sewed to tuck it in and now it's in there. You can move it around. But now I am going to make sure that it's in the center and then I'm going to just tack down each side so that it stays secure. I cut off my... I'm going to have to get... I keep picking up wrong things out of my pin cushion thingy. I gotta just put needles in this. I got tacks and buttons and safety pins and sewing needles. <laughs> okay, now you kind of eyeball it to make sure both sides are even. If they're not, see this one's a little off. So I want to adjust one side or the other so that it's evener. Okay. All right, let me see. Okay, 
perfect. Look, there's the mask. Now I'm going to go sew the sides down. It's pleated and I want to iron it down right in the middle, just like that. Okay, there's the mask. It's done. <laughs> and then this opens, you know, like the pleats do, and then you've got your zipper across your face. That's it. You have been watching Restoring Your Life with author, teacher, and minister Linda Lang. Restoring Your Life is an outreach of Life Application Ministries in Mount Ockham, California. To contact or support this program, visit our website at truthfreeze.org or write Life Application Ministries, P.O. Box 165, Mount Ockham, California, 95656, or call 530-620-4641. Join us next time and continue restoring your life.